Mark Beckwith from Nevis Outreach. Uh, a giant Nevis, this is what we are, but that's not important because what we're here to talk about is how a patient association can, can take uh, a, a national patient association can network together other patient associations from other countries in the world. What we did in 2011 is we held a, uh, an international expert meeting. And at the expert meeting, we also invited all the patients that we could find all over the world. At the time, we had about uh, 12 or 13 patient associations in various stages of being formed. We got all those associations to solidify themselves. And of all the patients from countries that didn't have associations formed, we've grown another 12 patient organizations in the last year. So that now we have 12 or 14 established ones and about 10 or 12 that are going to be established imminently. And one of the things that we brought to the table was the ability to build a global access website that would be served up in all different languages, or at least as many different languages as we could practically handle, and put together a registry that would be physician validated and be designed to be used from all over the world. So we can take our existing registry of maybe a thousand patients and we can build that registry into maybe four or five thousand patients over maybe four or five years. So, it was a stroke of good luck. We applied for it, got accepted into the uh, Office of Rare Disease Research's Global Rare Disease Registry, the GRDR pilot program, because they're trying to build registries for rare diseases that are global, so people from all over the world can put their information into them. And that information can be the most comprehensive information available on a given rare disease.